What's up guys, Dora here, I'm back with the commentary and today I have a Halo 3 how to Halo for you guys, a Halo 3 hardcore playlist or MLG Halo 3, whatever you guys want to call it. And I'm going to be explaining my process in this video and happy birthday Halo 3. I really wanted to make a Halo 3 video today. Last year I made like a 7th uh, birthday for Halo 3 but this year I just wanted to do a Halo 3 video and I feel like it's a lot more, you know, uh, informative to you guys. So as you can see, I noticed that the guy got custom and he has two times the shield if I'm correct in MLG. And um, I, I use a plasma pistol because no matter how much overshield you have, if you use it on someone, it will completely deplete it. So I had that ready, and I feel like that's a really useful thing that not that many people use. And right here, I noticed this guy's being very aggressive with me. And I noticed when I jumped up there, my shields were still going up. So I was thinking in his head, he's like, oh man, this guy's still weak. I'm going to push him. So I was just waiting for him to turn the corner. And little did he know my shields were actually coming back as he was looking at me. He thought my shields maybe were just kind of idle there. So I'm like, you know what, watch him just push me, and he did, so, um, when I like playing Pit, okay, I'm sorry, that was my phone going off, I'm sorry, in the middle of a commentary, like, come on, um, but, on the Pit, I like sitting in Sword with the Sniper, I really feel like, feel like the Sword is a really underutilized position, uh, especially in MLG, a lot of people just sit on the towers, especially when their team's pushing up, and I feel like that's kind of dumb, because, if you're sitting on the towers when your team's pushing up, what can you see from the tower? All you can see is your side, and all you can see is their S1 and their S2, and, kind of of their uh maybe like a little bit of their training if you were to really to push up or something but you couldn't really see much of the enemy side so i like sitting in the sword as you see me i'm choking on some snipes right there i don't know what i'm doing but right now i'm just kind of watching their spawns watching if uh, they're spawning courtyard or going cuts and cuts is a little area by their flag and right here I'm just watching their green boxes, I got a call out, took him out. And as you can see, sniping and sword is really effective because you can get one snipe and um, just kind of run away. And they'll wonder, where, where did guy and sword go? Where did guy and sword go? And it's kind of rare that they check runway. Some people just kind of get bored and don't feel like it. And right there, that was kind of an unfortunate spawn by that guy. He spawned a courtyard. I noticed immediately that his shot is kind of weird, so I started strafing even harder. And I noticed those guys chasing me in the back. And um, I noticed he stopped chasing me, and I stopped getting shot in the back, so I'm assuming he's going to try cutting me off from bottom sword, so I throw a nade there, but I end up getting picked off anyway. Um, I noticed the guy our training, that's kind of a dumb push. You don't really push through training by yourself, that's kind of dumb, and training is not really the best position to push. I'd rather push through long or green. I don't know where that guy went, so I'm assuming he dropped down uh, to custom. Right here I see that same guy, Corey. I'm not going to challenge him because the sniper rifle has a clear advantage in that battle. So I'm going to be kind of trying to juke him out here. So he thinks I went the other way. So he thinks it's safe for me to go. Or he thinks it's safe for him to go down runway. So I kind of faked him out of there. Not really. But take out that guy. And I go there S2 to kind of distract him and allow my teammates to push up. And as you can see right there, I didn't go up like S2 the full way. I kind of crouched on the lift. So I could kind of have that little... Um, kind of like get up there a little bit faster. I think I do it again here. Yeah. So I crouch up there to get up there. Um... A little bit faster and you don't have to like fly up the lift and kind of expose yourself. I was trying to be a little bit sneaky there. So right here off the of spawn I immediately, immediately made long haul because um, this kind of stop any pushes and kind of give my teammates more breathing room. And a lot of people were like oh it's a waste of nades but whatever. Um, right now I'm trying to nade you know their mauler because I got to call out there's a guy there. And sometimes if you're lucky enough they'll actually spawn there and maybe you get a nade on them. Um, right here, I see the guy still in Mauler. I'm kind of looking around for him. I know he has a sniper. Or actually, no, not he has a sniper. He has a Mauler, my bad. And I knew he was going to be kind of playing within his own Mauler. Because once you have a, a close range weapon like that, you're not going to expose yourself out in the open. Any smart player won't do that. So um, That monkey guy started challenging me. Right here, I kind of put my head down because I see my teammate getting chased from uh, their objective. And I kind of turn around and help him when my shields come back. So we're kind of pushing courtyard because that's the only place they could spawn because our team's all over their uh, objective and uh, what the heck is that noise? Oh, that's a jet. Okay, and and their uh, needle. So we're just kind of checking courtyard spawn. Right here, I'm checking the sniper came up. Uh, at this time, I didn't know the weapon spawns that much because it was kind of my, you know, I was getting back in the Halo 3 to kind of just added the playlist. So I got back smacked. I didn't know where that guy came from. I can't do anything about that. Right here, I'm just checking sniper spawn. I should be pushing green, helping my teammate here in long haul. Yeah, help him out. And this guy's trapped. The moment I naded there, he there's no escape for him. He can't leave. And that's really good. That was good teamwork by me to help my teammate out there instead of being selfish and just sitting on the sniper. Right here, I'm getting a call out too. In their first BR, I kind of missed the sniper shot there. Should have thrown a nade instead of shooting first. 
And uh, right now, since we get, yeah, geez, since we just killed them there, they should be spawning courtyard. My teammate just died courtyard, so I'm assuming they're spawning there, kind of watching there. You guys may have seen a lot of pros that sit there, um, watching courtyard spawns, putting their cursors there, or crosshairs. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I was awful sniping my man. I should have pulled out my BR a little bit earlier instead of trying to go for the flashy snipe. Checking sniper spawn again. I don't know what I'm doing. I should be pushing green or long haul with, uh, with my teammates. H34 here, or my teammate. And that's what I'm doing here. He just do a nade long haul, so I'm assuming they're going to green. And they don't. They probably see my nades. I probably uh, prematurely threw those nades. And right here, I see the guy sniping back there, so I should be backing up here. I shouldn't be challenging that hard because that's an easy snipe for him. Kind of nade there so they don't push up and kind of stop them. See my teammate getting hurt right here. The guy got caught off guard and I get an easy kill off of that. And my teammate made that guy weak and um, that's two dead for them. I think my teammate just killed another guy too. So that's three dead and the last guy is a sniper. So we're calling him out. We're like sniper and mauler. And I actually, I think I get a kill on a guy who just spawned or something. And uh, right now I'm waiting for my rocket guy to kind of push up, see what he's doing. I push off on this guy so he knows that, you know, hey, this guy's weak. But the game's pretty much over. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. That was kind of my short tidbit on how to play Pit, what I did that game. But thank you guys so much for watching the video. I'm out. Peace. Hope you guys enjoy Halo 3. Halo 3's 8th birthday. I really encourage you guys to go out and play today. Honestly, in my opinion, it's probably the best Halo game they ever made. Halo 3 and 2 are my favorites. So hope you guys enjoy the game. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm out. Peace. I want to thank you guys so much for 200 subscribers and it means so much.